Hey, peeps, and welcome back to another episode. What? He jumps with me? <laughs> That's awesome. But yes, peeps, welcome back to another episode of Power World. Look at this absolute unit that we got in the last episode. We have named him Lord Chungus, and he is our king because yes, <laughs> at least until we get a better one eventually, but oh my God gosh i logged in today and i was just i immediately smiled because i had him already out and it was just it's just he's glorious but we're gonna go ahead and put him away for now because we have a lot of stuff to do in today's video peeps the first thing is i i leveled up off camera i don't remember what i did to level up but i did level up we are now at level 21 so let's go ahead and where should i apply this level to wait I feel like you can never go wrong with weights. More stamina could also be nice, but I'm not really using my own stamina anymore. But most importantly, because we have leveled peeps, we have now unlocked the musket. We now have our very first gun. So we can make the musket. We probably also need gunpowder and coarse ammo. And oh, dude, one more level and we can make a king pack a saddle. Absolutely. I want more of this antique stuff, man. Like, I want to be able to make cool looking things, but the technology points are so limited. We, we can also make the average feeding bag. What does this do? A decently sized pouch for holding food. Unlocks two food slots in your inventory. Players and pals automatically consume when hungry. Why would I need that, right? Because, ooh, unknown items. Yeah, but why, why would I need that? Because this one seems to be keeping everyone mostly fed. It looks like they feed them to about 60% full. Which is like, I mean, that's fine. Interesting. Very interesting. But, uh, yeah, we, uh, we have a gun. Oh, wait, hold on. First, we have a large dark egg, which I think I've already hatched before. Uh, oh, a Nox. Do I have a Nox? I don't, I, is that our, that has, yeah, that's our first Nox, I think, right? Yep, because it's a new Paladic entry. Okay, well, let's go ahead and read it. A Nox. I've seen a few of these guys, I think, at, at night. It's a Kudere. Uh, when fighting together, applies dark damage to the player's attacks. Interesting. Okay, if you find a Nox hair in your bedding, you should leave it where it lays and leave immediately. Picking it up is a one-way ticket to a never-ending night. What does that mean? And... I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drop it. I, I don't think I want to know what it <laughs> means, right? So here it is. It is it's got air cannon. Obviously, it's only a level one. All it's good for is uh level one gathering. And it has no passive skills, so you can stay in there, I I suppose. Alright, but yes! Guns, 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 muskets, American Revolution. Wait, okay, hold on. I know I I know I keep getting distracted, but we need to put a new egg in here. This could be a I wonder. Will every large damp egg make a peng a penguin king? I don't remember what his name was, but uh, we named ours Napoleon. Will it make it every time? I'm very curious to see that. But here we go. This is the weapons workbench. And oh my gosh. Oh, wow. So this needs pal oil. I'm glad we've gotten a bunch of that just from all the things that we've uh, caught. I don't actually, I don't know. How have we gotten all of our pal oil? Maybe we have been killing things that drop it. I'm not sure. But either way, boom. Let's go ahead and make that. An <laughs> oh boy, that uh, that is quite the craft time. Even with our little penguin friend here helping us. Hold on, what is your name? Because you're an MVP, yeah, Gulliver, dude. Gulliver is such a beast. All right, well, I guess I'll bring you peeps back when this is done crafting. And yes, one musket has been made. Oh, I'm excited for that. All right, let's uh, let's compare it to. The crossbow. So our crossbow, wherever it is, here it is, is doing 280 damage. Pretty respectable, if I do say so myself. But <laughs> I, I, you know, I was expecting like at most 500, maybe like 350, but uh, a thousand. <laughs> An old-fashioned simple gun fires a single powerful shot at the expense. I have a long reload time. Oh, okay. So it's like, it's like, oh, oh, wow. I am currently asserting dominance. Is that a, uh, okay. Nope. That's uh that's good. But here we go. Oh, yeah, hold on. Let's get in the light. Let's get in the light. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, peeps. Oh, dude, it looks really good, actually. Uh, but of course, we need ammo. I, I think I have a, a actually a large amount of of the coarse ammo this needs. Oh, not a large amount. I guess only 18. Let's go ahead, give that to us, and we'll go ahead and put away our other things because you know we we've upgraded. We're in the modern era. We don't need bows anymore. How much does this cost to make? So one ingot, one gunpowder makes 10. How do I make gunpowder? Let's go ahead and start those producing. Where is gunpowder? made charcoal is here let's uh I, I if this is anything like arc we need charcoal for gunpowder so let's go ahead start gunpowder production or, or charcoal production and here we go oh sulfur i have never seen sulfur interesting okay so we're gonna have to figure out where the heck we get sulfur at okay well um let's go ahead and help gulliver here make this ammo and then I think we're gonna have to sleep soon. I think it's getting nighttime. And then I guess we're gonna head out and maybe look for some sulfur today. Good morning, all my pals. Look at you guys all hard at work. I'm so proud and good morning to you too, peeps. But uh, yeah, so we now have a total of 38 horse ammo, which is not a lot, I will say. But if we're doing a thousand damage per shot, uh, that's 38,000 damage, so. So that's still a pretty good amount, in my opinion. Uh, also, last night, I went ahead and made this cooking pot, and I haven't checked it out yet, so let's go ahead and... Oh, wow, yeah, that's definitely a lot more recipes. We can make pancakes! Yo! A jam-filled bun? Well, you can't fool me. That's just that's just jelly on toast. That ain't, that's not a jam-filled bun. We got an omelet. That looks like a jam-filled bun. We have marinated mushrooms. Oh, wow. Oh, this is cool. All right, we'll have to we'll have to mess with that a little bit later because we do have the goal of uh of what was it sulfur? Yeah, we need to figure out where the heck to get sulfur at. Also, I think that uh that syndicate base is back, so I kind of oh okay, well I guess we're down here. But yeah, I kind of want to see if there's a different creature there or if it's always going to be an Arsox because. If there's something else there, I would love to free it. We probably already have it, but uh, you know, we're I want to be a good person. Plus, I I really just want to headshot some people with my brand new musket, right? So, let's see. It should be where where, where it should be where the tower is. Yeah, here it is. So here's the tower. So it should be just around the corner. And yeah, here it is. Though unfortunately, they're already in combat with some uh with some pals, so they're probably all going to quickly die. But Maybe I'll be able to finish off some of them. Oh, there is a new one. All right, here we go. Let's see. Bam! Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. Dude, that's so good. Bam! <laughs> 9,000. Or not 9,000. 992 damage. All right, what does a non-critical look like? Let's see. Oh, this guy is super dead. Here, I'll, I'll shoot uh, this other syndicate thug because... Oh, no, he's actually killed him. All right, hi. Bop. Oh, I missed. Can you shoot me through this? Oh, oh. You don't know how to shoot through a cage? Oh boy, all right, there's a panglet killing one of them. All right, hi, and... Oh, what? Why am I missing? Oh, this fox park's gonna kill him before I can, right? And, oh, he lives, and... Oh, so 600 damage when it's not a kill. That is still respectable. And, boom! Oh, there it is, there's the thousand. Oh, and I got two bullets back for that. Very nice, oh, even more? Three bullets back. Great! All right, little dude, I will save you. Release the pal. You're uh, one of those exploding toucans. It's good to see that you're not trying to kill me for once. And uh, we got it has blood of the dragon as its passive skill. That sounds crazy. Oh, sorry, Lord Chungus did not need you. All right, all right. So if I were soul, right, where would I be? I don't even know. This is a desert, right? Maybe? I don't remember there being a desert when we were over there checking out this small settlement. But if it is, that's where I would rager sulfur would be. So let's let's go ahead and head over there. <gasps> oh my god, peeps, wait. It's happening again! There's Mamoras fighting again! Alright, hold on, wait. We now have Gigaspheres. Let's uh let's go ahead and get them ready. <laughs> there's, there's no way we'll catch another one, right? <laughs> there's no way, right? Oh look at them, look at them dancing around. What what are they doing? There we go. 
And boom. Oh my gosh. Whoa, dude, that tornado attack is so strong. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Wait, let's see. Uh, What is the rate? Oh, it's even lower. <laughs> it's even lower than before. Well, probably because they're on higher health, right? All right come on. Come on. I, I want to know. Oh, we got to be very careful because they have that earthquake ability. If we if they use that while we're close, yeah, we might die. Oh, fail on this guy's part. Come on. Come on. Lower your health. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, all right. 7%. We're going to try it. Go. It, he resisted it. He resisted it. Oh, maybe that guy. Okay, there we go. 2%. I want to try my little tiny pal spheres first just because it's it'd be really funny. All right, never mind. Gigasphere time. No, what a waste, dude. Oh, 1.3%. Oh, dude, I'm so bad today at wasting these. No. All right, well, now it's just you and me, Memores. You and me. Wait, I'm going to try to use a normal pal sphere. No way. <laughs> yes. Another Memores has been obtained. <laughs> ah, boar. Bam. Oh, my goodness gracious. Dude, I love this. I probably shouldn't be using it to kill rush boars because that's quite a waste, but uh, it's too fun not to. All right, so we now have another Mamorest, which I think means we could breed them, right? If they're the opposite gender. I probably should have checked. Let's see. Our Mamorest, uh, fortune here, is female. So if that Mamorest was male, we could breed them together. Also tempted to do this, peeps. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do this real quick, just because why not? It's here. All right, I'll, I'll bring you peeps back. Well, actually, let's let's first see if there's any new pals in here. And uh, if there's nothing new, I'll just rush to the end, and and we'll see. Oh, a little bit of lag. Oh, the <gasps> oh no, we already have you. Why am I lagging? Okay, no, I think I think this is every stuff we've already seen before. So, yep, let's go ahead, rush through, get all the treasures, and I'll see you peeps for whatever the boss is here. Oh, <gasps> wait a minute. Is this sulfur? This is looking uh very sulfury to me, peeps, because this is pal pallium. This is metal. This is looking like sulfur. It is. Yo, I did not think we'd be getting sulfur in this cave. Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't just rush to the end. I'm actually been farming, peeps. Look at my pal spheres. I have only one normal pal sphere. No mega spheres and only three gigaspheres left. And uh, oh, nice. There's a couple more of these syndicate dudes over here. Uh, but yeah, I've been farming and grabbing all of the uh, oh, what? Yeah, I've been grabbing all of the what's it called? Uh, the, the, the cave pals that I can because you know, I figured I'm in here, I might as well. And we've leveled up actually, I think twice. Yes, yeah, so we've leveled up twice. Our comet has leveled up, he now knows power shot which is very exciting to have him learn a new move. Very glad to get rid of that sandblast attack because that missed like nine times out of 10. It was so annoying to aim, but yeah, that's huge. I guess while I have you peeps here, let's go ahead and level up. I'll put one into health because why not and get one more into stamina. And oh, wait, that means we can make the King Pekka saddle. Yes, <gasps> metal armor and a water fountain. Cool. And a hip lantern. A lantern that can be attached to the hip and lights up automatically at night. Dude. That sounds really useful. I kind of want that. And I mean, oh, there's a mega grappling gun, though. It fires a hook that latches onto distant targets, pulling the user's body towards the target. Since it's upgrade, yeah, okay, so that's just more range. I haven't used the grappling gun once, though. This sounds more useful. Honestly, this sounds more useful. So let's go ahead, unlock the metal armor because now we can finally have better armor and metal lantern because I think that'll be very useful. Okay, right, cool. So all I need to do now is catch one more daydream and hey, would you look at that? All right, will you behave? Can I power shot a daydream without a dying? I can. Eh, okay, but not really well. Okay, let's see. I think uh, I'd rather just two-shot this level nine with air cannon. Let's go ahead and do that. And do that. And you definitely won't survive another one. Come on, don't make me use a Gigasphere on you. Please. Please. Come on. Yes. All right. Oh, dang it. I was only number nine. 
Oh, okay, I'm going to catch one more daydream then. And uh, then I'll see you peeps at whatever the boss is. I haven't checked out. Oh, please, comment. C comment! Thank you. Yeah, I haven't checked out whatever the boss is yet. So I'm hoping it's also going to be something new. Oh, I'm also hoping I get a pal sphere from one of these guys. And yes. All right. All right. But yeah, I'll see you peeps once I get another daydream and we can go check out the boss. Oh, finally, another daydream has appeared at what? Did you see that? Like curved around the rock. That was awesome. All right. Bam. And oh, that's probably not good enough, but uh, let's try it. I mean, 40%. That's not bad. Let's go ahead and shoot you. And do I need to catch you? Nope. Yes, dude, yes. All right, so that is now 10 of all of the cave creatures. So now we uh we don't really need to do these caves anymore, which is kind of nice, except for when, uh, when we want to do them for the boss loot. So if we ever want to come do these caves, all we have to do is literally just rush to the end to get whatever boss loot it is. Oh, dude, a capa tree? Okay. I, I would like to capture all of these as well because I don't I think I've only caught one. Oh look, it's locked. You have to kill the boss. Whoa! I've just now noticed this giant statue. Okay, well, let's uh I guess let's get to work here, peeps. Let's go shoot a power shot at you. Oh Why did that do like a triple hit? I I have no idea why that hit three times. Yeah, that only hit once. Interesting. How about now? Very interesting. Ow! Oh, that hurt. Uh oh, the boss is enraged. Hey, can we? Uh, can I capture that one? Yep. Yep. Oh, keep you. Okay, this uh, this might be tough, peeps. There we go. Oh gosh, dang. Okay. Okay, so it does have very quick attacks. All right, there we go. All right, let's wait for it atta to attack again. Oh man, it has a lot of health. Oh man, that hit me. Okay, come up. There we go. Doing good. Oh, okay. That uh, that is homing. So you need to go in. Go, go, go in. Go in, Comet. Go in. Pop goes the weasel. Oh boy, it's looking at me. Oh, gosh, dang it, dude! I hit Control to dodge for some reason, and I've changed it to be one of my mouse buttons. So yeah, that was that was a little embarrassing. All right, well, let's uh, let's go get our stuff back, I guess, and. I wonder if it's even still there or if the cave is just gone now. And we are back and oh, well, now it's a lamb ball, big floof. <laughs> That's his tag. That's so funny above, above like level 10 lamb ball. It says big floof. That's amazing. All right, well, I don't really want any okay didn't mean to do that yeah i don't really want any of these guys so let's go ahead and just let our mamma rest go oh, please don't kill me again mamma uh, fortune fortune fight them all right peeps so um hi <laughs> that was probably an extremely sudden and abrupt cut uh so the reason that happened is because i got a pretty important phone call and I, I obviously stopped the recording to answer that phone call, and then I just forgot to start recording again until this moment. So thankfully, not much was missed. Um, my fortune was able to obviously crush the lamb balls with uh, little to no effort, and uh, and then we just ran home. So that's all that you guys missed. Thankfully, nothing major happened. Uh, but yeah, so that was pretty successful. We got a whole bunch of new levels. Falcor now knows Power Bomb. You peeps already saw that our Dire Howl Comet knows power shot. And uh, let's go ahead and incubate this large damp egg. Oh, a visitor is heading towards the base. And yep, it's another Pen King. Doesn't look like it's anything unique about him, though, which is kind of sad. A little sad indeed. Let's go ahead and hatch another common egg, because why not? And uh, yeah, so we need to make more palsters. But first, let's go ahead and see who this new visitor is before we get to crafting all of the new stuff. We gotta make that lantern and we absolutely need to make the King Packa saddle. I doubt using the King Packa to get anywhere will be effective, but my God, it will be entertaining and that'll that'll make it all worth it. All right, Wandering Merchant. Hello, I've got some good items in stock. You're level one, buddy. You need to not be here. I can also sell you things. I, I don't have anything to sell, <laughs> so never mind. Hey, 
I didn't want to leave the conversation. Oh, my armor is damaged. I need to repair my armor as well. All right, let's see. Mind control med. Dude, I still kind of want that. Uh, oh, lock on laser. This must have been what the... Gr I think it, I think it was called a Grizzbuzz. Zoe's Grizzbuzz was using to, to blast us. Very cool. Acid rain. That sounds crazy. I... Actually, I kind of want that because we can give that to to Chillax because he's a water dragon type, right? I think I'm going to do that. We're going to buy that and I don't really care about anything else except for mind control meds. Really want to know what that does. Unfortunately, 10,000 is a bit of a hefty price. But here, yeah, let's go ahead and, and teach this to Chillax. All right. Yep, I can now switch your moves. And let's see. Ooh. Ooh, okay, so obviously I want to switch out Aqua Gun for Acid Rain. Oh, whoa. Wait, what? Have I not seen this? Can rapidly fire a missile launcher while mounted? That's insane, peeps. How have I never noticed that before? All right, anyway, let's, uh, ah, the sky. I keep hitting the wrong buttons and wasting my gigaspheres. All right, well, at least we can craft them, right? All right, but speaking of, I'm going to go ahead and craft a little bit more. And I'll bring you peeps back for when we make the saddle for Lord Chungus. Because honestly, that is what I'm most excited about. I don't know about you peeps, but uh, riding around on a king pack, I think, will fulfill my fundamental needs right now. Oh, yeah. That makes me feel a lot better having all of my pal spheres back. It's, like, legitimately stressing to not have pal spheres. Because, like, what if, what if I find a lucky, right? And also, come to think of it. We haven't seen a lucky pal in, in quite a while. I guess I haven't been out and about searching for them all that much, but uh, I don't know. We we found like like a like at least what was it four in that one episode, and then there's been none since. So maybe I used up all of my luck in the entire series for just that one episode. Kind of tragic. All right, but King Packa, I need wool. I need to destroy a lot of land balls. All right, we can. We can do that, but first, let's go ahead and make the metal armor. Holy moly, 30 ingots to make that. Ah, and it also needs cloth. All right, we're going to have to just demolish a whole lot of, of land balls after this peeps. 200 workload. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that going to take a little bit. That's going to take a little bit to make. And here we are, peeps, a full set of metal armor let's go ahead slap this on and uh and just see what it looks like boom and kaboom holy moly yeah we uh we look pretty cool now i will say i wish i could paint it like that'd be cool if i could paint it just kind of looks like bland copper look at this shoulder pauldron though oh my gosh all of our defense budget went to that one shoulder and nowhere else but uh I am sure glad we built here, peeps, because that was almost literally all of our metal. Like, we now have three metal to our name, plus that eight. But, uh, yeah, point is, we don't have a lot of stuff anymore, which, uh, I'm glad I don't have, I didn't have to farm for that, because we have all of these guys farming. But, uh, holy heck, that, I didn't, I didn't think that'd be so expensive. But also, speaking of expensive, let's go ahead, make, uh, oh, wait, no, no, let's, I, I guess I can only make that here, but. I want to be able to make the gunpowder, which, yeah, charcoal and sulfur. Thankfully, only one sulfur. I, can, I don't have any other use for sulfur right now, so we might as well turn all of it into gunpowder. But before we do that, how do I make this lantern? Ah, ah, ah. Okay, so we need more ingots, which I guess, I mean, we're, we're farming that passively. Ancient civilization parts. That's actually not bad. I can go destroy that chillet a few more times. We have enough for that. Cool. So let's go ahead, make a bunch of gunpowder, and then I'm going to go wipe the floor with that chillet. Actually, let's uh, before we do that, let's see if butchering one of the boss chillets will give us ancient civilization parts. Because I, if we could farm those, I care more about that than the boss loot. Oh my gosh, Napoleon High. I, I, like, I was like not paying attention to the game, and I focused in right when he was like, in our face so that was a little bit of a jump scare but uh yeah okay so this is gonna take forever to craft so i will see you peeps uh once this is done and we butcher our first chillet which is brutal but you know it is what it is right dude i gotta say with this new metal armor and this gun my character actually looks pretty awesome right about now but uh yeah chillax 
Uh, you want to do me a quick favor and just demolish this boss? There you go. All right. There you go, Chillax. Oh, oh boy. All right. Ooh, acid rain? <gasps> we get to see what it looks like? Whoa. Oh, wow. That's really strong. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, I accidentally wasted a Gigasphere. That was really good. But it, it looks like it needs the enemy to stand still. Holy moly. All right, but there we go. We got a chill and it's a masochist. Oh no. Um, yeah, about that. Uh, it's a good thing you're a masochist, chill it. Oh boy. Oh, oh God. Oh. Oh. And, uh, yep. That does give us extra civilization parts. Good to know. And uh, it's got. You know what the worst part was, peeps? I don't know if you guys saw it, but at the very end, its health bar was still there. So throughout that entire process, it was alive till the very end. But um, you know, it you know it was a masochist, right? So maybe it enjoyed it. Maybe it enjoyed it until it didn't. But um, yeah, there, uh, there we go. Let's let's go ahead and and get back fortune because I, I did put away fortune for that. And and now I think we can maybe make the lantern. Oh gosh, dang it! All right, well I gotta make this course ammo. And actually, we can't because we need more metal. Okay, so we need to do that first. Oh peeps, okay. Uh, I just got a new pal from an egg. A hang you. Interesting. Okay, well, uh, let's go ahead and read the PAL deck on it. On this guy, oh my gosh. Okay, it's gigantic arms can rip apart even iron. Ooh. As a particularly cruel form of execution, serious criminals would be strung up in a public square and hang you would tear the skin from their bones. What the heck, bro? <laughs> That's messed up. Okay, so it can rip apart iron, but it can't mine or or get trees. All right, well that's that's horrifying. Uh, flying trapeze while in a team can be summoned and used instead of a glider. Cool, carries the player up high while gliding. Okay, well yeah, that's definitely not nightmare fuel. Um, yeah, uh, there we go. We'll make one ironing it. Can I finally make? Oh, uh, yes, dude, the saddle for King Pekka. I'm excited. I am excited. All right, we're going to make this, and then I'm probably going to sleep because it is getting dark. And, oh, I need. I also need to see if I can... Ah, stop wasting the spheres. If I can make this lantern. Ah, I can. Okay, cool. Let's make the lantern first because it's about to be nighttime, so let's see how good of a tool this lantern is at keeping us lit up. And, oh, well, there we go, and... Yeah, that is, that is, like, immediately noticeable. Very bright. Where is it? Oh, it's not, like, physically on us, though. And it just sits in the key items. All right. Oh, that's a little sad. I thought I'd have to put it in the second accessory slot. Man, I, I, I wish it was, like, actually on my person. All right. Well, lantern disappointment slash not disappointment because it still works really well aside. King pack a saddle. Oh, shoot. It's not there anymore. Dang it. Okay, well, um, the, the lantern actually is modeled. I, I did see it. I went to sleep, and it was on my character's hip. It doesn't appear to be there anymore because, you know, it's it's daytime. It has no reason to be there, I guess, but cool. So, I mean, that was really my only complaint about it, and now it's there, and everything is good, but here we go. This is what everyone's been waiting for. I, well, I mean, this is what I've been waiting for. I don't know if you peeps have been waiting for this, but I have. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Lord Chungus. Yes. Wait, what? I thought I would sit on the head. I'm just like crouched on his back. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's actually quick. Dude, wait, this is like actually not that bad in terms of speed. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have power shot. Oh, we have no stamina. Dude, this is literally everything I ever could have hoped for. So we have power shot. Yep, we have power bomb. Oh my gosh. Yep, and then we have kingly slam. Oh, oh 
gosh dang, that's so fun. That is so fun. Oh, but we have to wait a while before we get stuff back. Here we go. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. All right. Yep. I'm going, gonna go ahead and capture this other chili. I'll probably need a megasphere. Oh, maybe not. Well, well there we go, peeps. That chili knew better. It, it saw this absolute unit in front of it and decided it was just better to come along peacefully. I'm, at, I'm like legitimately, I'm, I'm kind of surprised at how good it's moving. Wait, what? Oh dang it! I grabbed a, I grabbed the wrong dire howl. <laughs> okay, but uh, how, how far can we go with Kingly Slam? Like, like, can I travel from here to here? Like, that'd be really fun. Oh crap! <laughs> no, absolutely not. I wonder if it does more damage depending on how far you fall like if i were to jump from up there and land on something down here would that do like 20 bajillion damage i hope so that'd be so fun but also when would i get to use that right all right but there we go peeps i i think i'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here this has been a wildly successful episode we went ahead got a bunch more levels we are pretty much done with caves now unless we want to farm the bosses or the loot that spawns at the very end of them we have a brand new set of armor we've got our very first gun we can ride our king paka we have a lantern uh, and just think things are going well here in the pal world i guess world but yeah peeps so i hope you all enjoyed this episode what should we do next peeps there's i always struggle in open world games that I haven't played before because I don't know what the progression is. Oh, oh yeah, we have to kill this pen king or, or, or capture. <laughs> we have to capture the pen king. And maybe we'll go over here because this place looks very interesting. Maybe we'll check out this giant like titan skeleton. That could also be a fun thing. Or maybe even go down here. We have like the world is our oyster peeps. We could do so many things. But yes, for now, I'm going to go ahead and leave things here. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye! Oh, I want King Paka. Lord Chungus. Oh, I, I can't even throw out anything anymore. I have to live with my failure. <laughs>